All right. Check mic 212. Let right. me know. Let me know if you can hear me well. Just type 1 in the chat box. And by the way, I have my fan on because it's too hot outside. And if it makes too much noises, then just let me know. I will switch it off. But I'd rather not to because otherwise I'm going to die because of the weather today. So yeah, let's wait for a couple of minutes for the rest to join and then we will start our today's topic which is about the advantages of crypto trading bots and how you can easily automate your trading to achieve higher returns. So while we are waiting for the rest to join, tell me where are you from? Let's get acquainted. Okay, nice. Sweden, India, Latvia. That's great. South Africa. And greetings, South Africa. All right. I think it's the right time to start. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dmitry and I'm the portfolio manager, trader and together with BitsGap we are working on the automated trading optimization to let you guys achieve higher returns, to hedge your trades, to protect your trades from the falling market. So all of the tips and clues today I will share with you and if you are a newcomer and you don't know nothing about the automated trading and you've never launched the bot at BeatsGap platform, then in this case we can do this together today and I will easily show you how to, to execute your first trade in just a matter of 30 seconds. So that's gonna be your first trade. Absolutely risk-free. So let's begin. Here we go, here is our today's agenda. As always, we will go through the optimal strategies and settings because we have some new updates to share with you and that is why there are new optimal strategies to present. We have use cases and practical tips, as always, and demo trading to, for you to discover your own strategies and to test uh, optimal settings for automated trading bots. Demo trading is about risk-free trading simulation where you have virtual money and you can trade in any way you want just to find what is your best, like best suitable for you uh, trading style. I will also cover risk management principles that we have in automated trading. I will explain to you what backtesting is all about. That's our feature, quite unique. And we've made it, we've implemented it in a way that you are able to use it to generate trade ideas. I will also show you some profit maximization techniques depending on the market conditions. I will introduce to you the S-Bot and Scalper today. These are our, I, um, I'm not, how to say, it's not right to say that they are quite new, but they are relatively new. So it's been two months, I guess, since the launch. And we are about to unite the S-Bot and the Scalper. So you will have a brand new one 
in in the coming days so we will talk about how to launch the sbot and the scalper what are the differences and what makes them so unique and what are the market conditions uh, which are mostly optimal to la to use to launch these bots loss minimization on the downtrend so that's what i've mentioned hedging against the falling market and for those who still don't know what the investment change is all about and what makes it different from the bot profit i will explain this so for newcomers there will be a bunch of information useful easy to understand so don't worry today you will be able if you haven't yet launched the bot you will be able today first time to launch the bot easily and yeah so first of all what is the high frequency trading which is the main algorithm implemented in all of our bots so high frequency trading i guess it is already pretty much clear what this stands for so this stands for high speed of trades execution so we have this algorithm which is able to execute trades to find i mean it is able to find um, opportunities on the market to buy low and sell high and and at an astronomical speed so for instance here you uh, you have a chart sorry graph and that's the performance of the scalper in this case it's what, zilica trading to usdt and here you can see that it was launched with the scalper bot and only five days passed almost six actually and within this period of six days we had in total 6,600 trades. Can you imagine that amount? Can you imagine manually executing that amount of trades? I doubt so. So if we take six days and divide it by the total amount of trade executions, we get 46 trades per hour, 24 seven. So I doubt that manually any of us, even those that are quite professional traders coming from not only from the cryptocurrency markets but from the traditional markets like stocks etfs trading options trading warrants trading 66 uh, sorry 46 trades per hour that's that's a lot and there are also depending on the market conditions and the volatility of a given cryptocurrency uh, trades per hour they vary significantly so below you can see some other bots that we have here we have the s bot and for sorry let me come back so for seven days we had a thousand and two hundred trades so that's seven trades per hour and yeah that's because of the market volatility and because of the settings that we have it works like this so each time the bot spots the opportunity to buy low and then almost instantly to sell high it grabs this opportunity it seizes this opportunity to make profits for you regardless of the market direction as simple as that so here we have falling market but even on the falling market the bot is able to find these cases where it can buy low and then sell high and these um, and these profits you see that there are quite many trades here and these profits they all together when we sum it up we get pretty much decent returns which if annualized they can reach up to 300 percent per per year so let me show you some examples but before I show you examples let's first of all discuss what the algorithm uh, what is the logic behind our bots so we have implemented this algorithm which is called uh, grid mechanism and the idea is that we have a trading range which is defined by the upper limit price right here and the lower limit price so the trading range is the range 
that's the area, that's the zone where all of our trades, I mean, this is the area where the bot is going to trade for us. And here we have the cell, so, uh, cell zone, which is represented by the cell orders. And we have the buy zone, which is represented by buy limit orders in this case. And that's for the sake of the example, we have Cardano trading to USDT. And the total investment is only 228 USDT. And here below we can see the split. So we can see that a portion, so that's pretty much almost a half of our total investment, 112 USDT is distributed by the buy limit orders so that means that if the price starts falling it will execute buy limit orders each time it the price triggers buy limit order and we also have sell orders and you see that we have 2255 cardanas proportionately distributed by all of these sell orders here so that means that each time starting from that point starting from the point of our bots inception where we launched it we already have all of these sell orders set above the price and if the price starts moving from that point upwards each time it initiates i mean it triggers the <clears throat> it trigger i mean it, it reaches the the price of the sell order the bot will execute trades as simple as that so here is the trading range and for the sake of the example let's use only eight grid levels so grid levels what are the grid levels grid levels are simply limit orders so here we have eight grid levels so that means it can be like in this example we have four sell limit orders and four buy limit orders so in total we have eight grid levels all right it can be in other way around so it can be let's say only seven uh, sell orders and it can be only one buy order that depends on the market conditions so here we see that the price start, started to move downwards and it triggered the first buy limit order and as it triggered the first buy limit order the board will automatically place new sell limit order right above the price maintaining the grid spacing so the grid spacing is another term for you which you have to understand in order to <clears throat> become successful at automated trading grid spacing is basically the space between our limit orders and each time the price approaches certain levels like here for example you see that the price approached our newly set sell limit order so that means that the bot will now execute the sell limit order so it's gonna sell it's gonna sell binance coin in this case to ethereum so we will cash out in ethereum and then this ethereum will be used again a portion of it to set to place a new buy limit order so that's the idea. As long as the price stays within the trading range, this algorithm, this um, how to say, this approach will sustain. So each time the bot spots buy and sell opportunities, and each time the price in this case triggers the uh, the levels that the bot has set. it will trade for us and generate profits like this there are different variations of how you can uh, set the bot you can only have let's say the sell side without any buy zone like this but before we jump into this let me show you another example and now we go to the bits gap page so here we simply click on bots and now we are on the main page of automated trading notice that I have my demo mode on so that means I'm now trading using my virtual money this is basically 
a risk-free trading simulator and it by 100% mimics the trades that you would otherwise initiate on your real account so that's the perfect uh, mode for you uh, to, to test to learn before uh, trading on your real account so you can actually start trading already now with me and here we have a chart as usual which you can zoom out and zoom in in any way you want and below we have a list of all of our active bots so you see I have a bunch of them right now and here we also have the history so we can always check the past results what is interesting the cool thing here is that we have on the right side strategies and the first that pops out is recommended strategies these are all of the cryptocurrency pairs that are currently based on the backtesting results based on the monthly as you can see here based on monthly uh, performance we have top cryptocurrencies which offer to us best returns based on past results <clears throat> and you can use these recommended strategies as a source of trade ideas and for this scalper we have this list of uh, cryptocurrencies if I switch to other bots we have classic and the S bot <clears throat> let's see what's gonna happen so we can clearly see that the list of recommended strategies it changed because for this particular strategy as bot we offer different strategies based on once again backtest results and risk to return ratio same with the classic bot if you switch to the classic bot but I'm not gonna waste time showing you once again how to get recommended strategies you get the idea that's pretty straightforward and simple and on the right side the right panel we have here is sample so that's the simple setup of the bot and here you can see that as I switched let's say I, I'm gonna choose um, <clears throat> mana trading to BTC and as I switch mana trading to BTC I have my trading range automatically set by the beats gap algorithm but if you don't like this you can always adjust it like this you can grab the upper limit price and you can grab the lower limit price and you can squeeze the trading range or you can make it wider you can make only the sell zone wider and you can make the buy zone narrow so it's up to you you can also do this manually but to be honest uh, from my point of view from the point of time management it is better to optimize your trading range using the chart because otherwise if you will manually try to uh, set the price you see I already got confused got there are too many zeros here all right so I'd rather stick to stick to the initial plan where I can adjust the upper limit price and the lower limit price <clears throat> so here I have also an option to change the exchange and here as I'm trading my demo mode I have a list of exchanges with virtual money and I can switch to uh, let's say Exmo I'm trading on Exmo as simple as that if uh, for some reason or, or, or for uh, for instance we don't have uh, the cryptocurrency that you want to trade in recommended strategies then you can always find this cryptocurrency pair in this section which is called pair so let's say I'm looking for algo trading to XM yeah so here we go all right as simple as that and below we also have uh, on the right side the balance so here you can always check your current balance and if I switch to my most active one which is Binance I have here a list of my uh, available cryptocurrencies 
and I also have specification regarding what is the amount of uh, my balance is currently allocated to my active bot so I have almost 7000 USD currently allocated to all of my active bots and only 700 is now available and comparing with the advanced section in the advanced section the only difference here is that you have the uh, investment specification so when you set the investment value you can set it by manually and say I want only two BNBs or you can do this by choosing the right percentage let's say 50 85 and it takes 85 percent of your currently available BNB from your balance from this amount and let's say I want to launch this bot let's let's adjust the trading range so here we see that the grid spacing looks like too wide it's almost five percent spacing that's too much let's reduce this because the more grid levels we have the more opportunities for the board we provide to let it say as many um, market swings as possible as many opportunities to buy low and sell high as simple as that that's pretty much clear that <laughs> the more of the levels you have distributed within the trading range the more the more chances you have to have as many triggered as the market is gonna be volatile and the interesting thing here is that we have some limitations so for instance for the S bot and for the classic bot the minimum uh, grid spacing is 0.1 percent all right but before like three months ago it was uh, twice higher so it was 0.2 so that's something that we've reduced because we now are able to execute trades having only 0.10 percent of the grid spacing and for the scalper it's even lower it can be down to 0.02 percent all right and so here we go let's say I want to launch the bot with only 70 of the grid levels which is pretty much a decent amount of grid levels and you can set it up to 180 and some cryptocurrencies they offer even 200 yeah but here we see that the limitation is uh, 180 that's because of the technical specifications of the uh, exchange Binance because they have some limitations regarding the amount of uh, how many limit trades you can set per per the cryptocurrency so here it's 180 and in this case the more grid levels the low uh, the narrow is the grid spacing respectively but notice that I don't have enough to launch the bot and the system is telling me that to start it you must have at least 15 BNBs or if you don't have that amount of BNB and I actually don't have that amount of BNB I only have 3.6 so I'm gonna click on adjust and instead of 87 grid levels I now have only 17 alright but now I'm able to launch the bot if I don't like this kind of setup I can switch to other exchange if I have it linked to the Bitsgap platform and it can be it can be that the same cryptocurrency pair can be launched with different settings just because each cryptocurrency exchange has its own unique uh, technical aspects so for instance for BNB or sorry for Bi for Binance if you want to trade let's say BNB USDT the minimum trade size the minimum trade size the order size is 10 USD so that's the minimum other cryptocurrency exchanges they can have a higher minimum requirements or they can have lower minimum requirements so that varies with the exchange and yeah I will show you later how these uh, varies with exchanges but for now let's start 
let's initiate using the simple no actually let's use the advanced that's the most optimal one uh, to launch our first bot so let's now just click on any of the recommended but let's first check what is the available balance maybe I should take out some of the investment maybe I should mm -hmm. yeah I gonna close my new trading to BTC just to get my 0 0.1 BTC back so when I click on close it, re it it is asking me if I want to sell left new to BTC at market price because there are still some trades open and here we go so we have currently in this cryptocurrency pair in this trading board we have 66 now in open orders and we have 0 0.02 BTC in also open orders so if I click on close and click on yes check the box sell all of the now to BTC that's gonna be a full exit to BTC so you see you cancel the bot and now let's refresh the balance yeah you see that it placed market sell and it filled the market sell so now let's check once again the balance sometimes it can take several seconds to refresh but in my case I'm just having some internet connection issues that is why it's not I ah, actually yeah it's, it, it, it has refreshed because the cryptocurrency pair that I've just closed it's from the OKEX exchange so yeah everything is good let's now switch to OKEX and let's check the balance yeah so here we go here is our balance and let's initiate the bot using recommended strategy so let it be icon trading to BTC and let's increase the price range and let's set the investment 0 0.2 here I have some options take profit stop loss and trading up well the take profit I will explain what is this all about in five minutes the stop loss it's pretty much simple to understand I guess all of you are familiar with what this is all about so let's say the price moves in the in the downward direction so the price is gonna fall and as it breaches the lower limit price it goes lower the trading range it can eventually trigger the stop loss and if it will trigger the stop loss in this case it will automatically sell all of the base currency in this case icon to BTC so that's our basic risk management principle basic risk management instrument that we have here which you can also adjust on the chart or you can manually set the trading up I will also explain to you in maybe in, in eight minutes because I have this in my presentation but let's just initiate the bot having simple settings so here we go the total amount of the investment is going to be 1800 USD and 2500 of icons is required to initiate the bot and that amount of BTC is required to initiate the bot let's see if I have that amount of icon on my balance no I don't have that amount of icon so that means if I click on start the system will tell me that you have to buy that amount of icon and it's gonna buy for me using market price to launch the bot I'm gonna yes I'm gonna go yes <clears throat> so now let's see what happens so here we go let's click on now the view button and see how many open orders that we have so we have 97 open orders that's exactly the amount of grid levels that we set and here we have the buy side 
and we have the sell side yeah and here we have the proportionate distribution by the price so the lower the price you see the, the higher is the amount to buy the higher is the price the, the lower is the amount to buy and if we multiply that amount in this case icons to price which is now in BTC we're gonna get the same investment allocation as if we would uh, multiply 60 by that price and then again 75 by that price so that's equal distribution implemented in the as bot strategy so here we go and we already have our first trade initiated as you can see clearly on the chart right here so that was the execution of our buy limit order and we can check it once again if we click on view and have it in the completed orders here so notice that we don't have any profits yet generated because we only initiated the first buy limit order and we paid the fee so that's why our current profit is negative because we've just paid the fee and if I let's say um, let's open my Bitcoin cash to USDT so here we have fees they are priced in so each time you see the bot profit you have to keep in mind that it is absolutely net of all fees so it deducts like profits they deducted from the fee sorry fees are deducted from our profits and that is how we get our pure profit our net profit so that's another feature that we have at BitsGap comparing with other platforms we provide you with only transparent uh, performance metrics so you see here 8.65 uh, USDT so that's uh, total profit generated by the bot net of all fees so you don't have to on your own calculate how many fees you've paid because we have already calculated this for you and it's taken into calculation as simple as that now let's come back to the presentation so yeah let's say if we want to initiate the bot having only uh, yeah once again having only the sell side so in this case like this so in this case if uh, as soon as the price triggers the sell limit it's gonna place the buy limit order right below maintaining the grid spacing you see if it again then goes upwards and triggers other sell limit orders in this case each time it triggers the sell limit it's gonna place below buy limit order and if the price stays within the trading range it's gonna trade almost endless endlessly unless it goes beyond or it breaks the lower limit price the main question is what is the difference between the investment change and basically what makes up this investment change and what makes it different from the bot profit and how they are calculated so here we have the example with BNB trading to USDT with the total investment of 445 USDT so we see that the investment change is in the negative zone it's minus 0.7 percent so that means that our current value is lower than the investment that we had so that's around I guess 440 USDT if we recalculate our current value of the investment but here's the thing the investment change is composed of basically it's the value it's the value of our current open trades so we have here right now 15.68 BNBs in open orders and we have some USDTs which are distributed by the buy limit orders all right so to calculate in this case the current investment value and to compare it with the initial investment value which is 445 all we have to do here is to simply multiply 15.68 BNBs in our open orders by the current price and it was at that time 
zero eight, and then sum it up with the uh, USDT, and then add the bot profit. All right. So the bot profit is already priced in. It's the added value of the investment change. So that's already priced in. So I'm going to show you now how you can get this idea even better. Let's go and continue with the optimal strategies. Um, so yeah, let's see the investment change of any let's let's make let's choose um, okay let it be falling falling uh, active bot let's use yeah icon trading to USDT <coughs> and all we have all we need here is the chart no actually let's use another one to better get a visualization of the effect of the investment change let's yeah let's use quantum to usdt so notice that we have minus almost five percent of the investment change but the broad profit is positive all right well it will always be positive in any case because the bot makes profits for us regardless of the market direction because its idea is to f is to buy low and sell high and we constantly get these opportunities regardless of the market direction <clears throat> so let's find the point of inception so that was the point of inception all right and now is the current price here let's see what would be the investment change if we would simply hodl if we wouldn't use any of the automated trading strategies and we would simply hodl actually I had this example in my presentation so let's let me just show you this yeah, I have to skip this one and we will come back to this a little bit later yeah it takes time because of the animation effects so yeah here we go <coughs> mm -hmm not not the exact one but I guess the next one yeah so here we go that's quantum trading to USDT so if you would simply buy this cryptocurrency and then do nothing about it you would just simply hodl it as we call it then in this case up down to current price your total investment change would be minus 6.88 percent so that's the price change from the point of inception down to the current price that's minus 6.88 percent but having automated trading on and that means that you let the board to use the base currency in this case quantum to generate profits for you in USDT notice that within this period there have been 600 trades in total and that allowed the bot to generate 23 USDT so that's 2% to our investment and because of this added value that the bot has generated during this falling market this profit offsets the investment change and that is why using automated trading we only have minus 3% whereas if we wouldn't use the automated trading in this case our loss would be twice bigger it would be minus 6.88 percent so that's what we call hedging that's what we call uh, loss minimization because we have the bot profit which offsets the negative value change in this case so that's the idea of what makes up the uh, investment change and how it is used with the bot profit <clears throat> now let's see what are the optimal market scenarios to launch the bot so despite the fact that the bot makes profits for us regardless of the market direction either it's moving upwards sideways or it is a falling market 
it will constantly find opportunities on the market to buy low and sell high. But to achieve profit maximization, to achieve the best results you can actually get from the market, are only on the sideways and as here in the example, the uptrend market. So not only we are affected by the price appreciation of our base currency, in this case BNB, we can clearly see that the price of BNB in Ethereum is growing here. So that means that the BNB that we have in our balance right now, as the bot is constantly buying it and then looks for sell opportunities, so that means that in any case we will be affected by the price appreciation as the market is moving upwards. But here is the idea. Not only we are affected by the price appreciation, but the board generates profits for us. It buys low and sells high. Buys low and then again it sells high. As simple as that. So that's what we call active investment change because that's the profit maximization. We let the bot to use our BNB to generate profits in Ethereum. And now imagine that at that time, as BNB was growing, imagine that Ethereum was also growing to, let's say, to USD, Ethereum to USD. So the profit generated here, which was in this case in Ethereum, is gonna also uh, positively affect our balance as we now have Ethereum that we've earned as we were buying low and selling high BNB and if the price of Ethereum to USD has grown during that period of time as well so that's gonna be the added appreciation of our portfolio and on the sideways market I would say that sideways market is probably the best uh, optimal market scenario to launch the bot because the idea here is to earn during the stagnation and the sideways market is basically a neutral market it's when the price is neither goes upwards nor it goes downwards so it's more or less stays somewhere in between and we don't want to waste that time all right so using automated trading we are able to generate profits during the stagnation during the sideways market in ethereum in this case and now i'm going to show you the effect of the profit maximization on the sideways using automated trading and comparing with it with simple holding so if you would simply buy bnb at that point at that price and then you would wait until current price, your um, investment change, your profit would only be 10.57%. All right. But as we have automated trading strategy on, in this case, as bot, it has managed to generate added value in 16%, which is in this case $8. And that added value goes to the investment change and we have our investment change higher so we have it almost by almost by five percent higher so that's 15.84 comparing with simple hodling strategy that would generate for us only 10 percent so i guess the choice is pretty clear here automated trading allows us to maximize our profits and here is the perfect example of how automated training can maximize our returns 15% against 10% here's another example of Bitcoin cash to USDT it's I guess the most recent one that I've made again so here you see that the point of inception current price if you would simply hodl it will be only 5% to your balance but as we had our automated strategy on we allowed the bot to generate profits for us in usdt that's going to be an added value and that is how we get our 14 percent compare 14 percent with five percent yeah that's nine percent difference so that's the idea here pretty much the same but 
uh, we have a falling market here point of inception if you would simply hodl you would have minus four percent with automated trading here comes the automation effect here comes the hedging effect and it's only minus two percent so the profit that generated during this period it offsets the negative value change so instead of having minus four percent we have only minus two percent so no matter in which direction the market goes advantages of automated trading advantages of consistent profit generation are obvious all right and with features like trading up we can always almost always stay in the market without the necessity of staying in front of the computer 24 7 all right so what is the trading up function on uh, we've learned that we have the trading range which is defined by the lower limit and the upper limit right and and we also learned that as the price stays within the trading range the bot will trade for us but if the price moves higher it breaches the upper limit price or it breaches the lower limit price in this case unless we have our trading up function on the bot will not trade for us but here we have our trading function on and that means that the trading range will follow the price appreciation like this so you see that now our upper limit price is higher it moved upwards from that point up to this one so up to the higher high of the last price action and now we have our trading range higher let's assume that then the price again moves upwards and it establishes new higher high in this case what's going to happen yes exactly upper limit together with the lower limit price which define the trading range they will move upwards and now the trading range is above but what happens if the price from that point from the point of our new newly established higher high goes downwards and it breaches the lower limit price <clears throat> in this case the trading range will not be uh, cautious here so it will not follow the price depreciation so that means that as it breaches the lower limit price there will be no action in this area so the bot will not trade for us in this case but as the price then again comes back it has retested it has bounced off this level and now it again moved upwards and has entered again the trading range here is the zone where our bot will start trading again all right and if the price then again moves upwards in this case what's going to happen is that our trading range will follow the price appreciation so that's the idea of trading up all right it allows us to all to stay in the market and basically not the best way to describe trading up is by saying that it allows us to uh, follow the upside momentum it allows us to follow the appreciation all right so you don't have to manually close the bot all right having trailing up function on you allow the bot automatically to follow the price appreciation so here's the example ng2 trading to bdc we have 54 grid levels amount of investment 0 0.013 the asbot strategy and we have the trading up function on <clears throat> so here we go uh, these are our initial here's the initial uh, upper limit price which is uh, 1637 and our lower limit price which is 1402 so as I have my trading up function on notice that after the price has breached the upper limit price at that level my trading range started to follow the price and is now right here so here is my trading range now notice what is the difference if we otherwise wouldn't use the trading up function on we would get stuck here and we would miss this 
price action. But as I have my trading up function on, I let my bot to follow the price appreciation. And here you see that it has managed to seize almost every market swing possible here. You see how many trades? That's 12,000 trades executed here. Without trading up, I would have, I guess, maybe only a thousand trades. But with trading up, I have a profit maximization of 17%, which is an added value. <clears throat> Here's another example. In this case, we don't have our trading up function on. And here what we see is that without trading up function on, we got stuck at that level, at, at this area, and we skipped this price appreciation. So if we would have our trailing up function on, we would see on the chart trades here. But we don't have them because we got stuck as we didn't have our trailing up function on. So always take into thorough consideration whether or not you are willing to uh, to switch the trading up function on. If you want to follow the price appreciation, all right, uh, then you should consider using trading up function. But if you prefer each time the price breaches the upper limit price, you prefer to manually close the board and then later to find better opportunities on the market to use your uh, to use your cash to use your investment then in this case um, the optimal way for you is not to use trading up function if you want to have more manual control over your automated trading that will be the case here comes the uh, Another topic of ours today, the webcast, is sources of trade ideas. So you've already seen that we have recommended strategies, but we also have backtesting. So what backtesting is all about? Let me demonstrate this to you. So all I need to do here is, okay, I have quantum to USDT, and below in the advanced section, I have show backtesting results. Okay, for some reason, my screen is not responding so I need to refresh the page as it refreshes the page tell me by the way how many of you are already using uh, BitsGap automated trading bots with trading up functions on so let's see how many of you are already familiar with this profit maximization technique yeah so you see it takes some time because I'm using my MacBook 2017 and I guess not enough computation power to handle so many softwares so sorry for that anyway here we go and we click on the show backtesting results in this case it's icon trading to BTC and automatically it defines a monthly period so from the 19th of May up to today's day so that's 18th of June and f during that period for a period of only 30 days it has managed to generate 10.61% so that's the bot profit all right it we don't take into account the investment change of i mean it, we don't take into account the value change of the uh, base currency icon here we only take into account the bot profit all right so for that period it would have generated 10.61% and we can see at which price it would sell and buy in the complete orders all right if we want to have another date range let's say we are interested in what would be the profit generated by the bot if we would have initiated the bot let's say 
the third of uh, let's say the fourth of June until today, and let's see what would be the profit. Okay, so in this case, as the market was falling, uh, the bot would have only generated one point twenty eight percent for that period for the period of 15 days and yeah so what backtesting is all about it takes historic data to uh, simulate to backtest that is why it's called back and but it's why it's called test so it tests uh, historic uh, data it tests previous um, previous days and it estimates what would be the profits if we would have initiated the bot back at that time so how we can use the backtesting to generate trade ideas here's the example ng trading to bdc starting from the 11th of uh, april until the 11th of may so that's one month period we see that the price has reached the higher high of 66 percent so from the point of 11th june up to the highest price 66 percent appreciation and then from that point down to the lowest it was minus 35 percent so in this case this is the downside risk for us but for that period of month one month the board would have generated 34 percent in bdc in this case so at that during that period each time the price moves downwards it would buy and then it moves upwards it would sell so each time it spots opportunity on the market it would grab this opportunity to make profits and in total it would make plus 34 percent and now in another example same period but in this case it's BNB trading to uh, BUSD uh, the biggest growth 35 percent up to that point of higher high and then the downside risk from the highest high to the lowest minus 25 percent now we take this data all right in this case i have a table but in reality you can only use the back testing that we have here so you don't have to use this table you can visually spot the difference so here's the difference the bot profit range is 34 and for bnb it is lower by 21 percent so here definitely the outperformer is ng in bot profit all right but in terms of the downside risk the ng was riskier than bnb by almost 11 percent all right so if you are a risk taker and you are looking for maximized returns in this case ng could be an option for you but if you are looking for um how to say more conservative results then in this case bnb could be an option for you because it had a lower risk but it also had a lower bot profit so when you use back testing you can find uh, best suitable cryptocurrency pairs for your trading style if you are a risk taker then you are looking for those cryptocurrencies that have a higher volatility and have higher returns for a given period of time in bot profit but if you are risk averse and you are quite conservative when it comes to risk then you are looking for those that offer lower returns but uh, as a price of that it has a lower risk all right so here's how you can use backtesting and now as we have learned quite many things here comes the trading guide which i would suggest you to follow so first of all all you have to do is to choose the ticker and you can choose the ticker once again based on what backtesting which allows you to generate trade ideas or you can use recommended strategies like here all right right after you've chosen the ticker make sure that you choose the right bot so if you are looking for 
high efficiency bot which generates maximized returns within the investment limit and to, to learn more about what this is all about just click on read more and you will find more information about the technical aspects of the SBOT. Some key features like how it distributes your investments, how it uh, stays within the investment limit and how it secures your trading. And uh, yeah, if you want to have more grid levels and you have you, and you want to have a narrow setup, then in this case scalper can be an option for you. Right now the trading range is predefined so you you are not able to readjust it all right but very soon we are uniting scalper with the s bot so that means that newly i mean the new bot will allow you to use scalper settings within such a narrow setup so here is the grid spacing is 0.02 percent so you will be able to adjust these settings and uh, in five minutes I will show you some optimal strategies for such a narrow setup. So after you've chosen the bot, you have to define the grid levels and as I shown you here, your grid, sp your grid level, like grid amount depends on the available balance. So the more of the grid levels you want to have, the more investment you must allocate all right so make sure that you have enough on your balance and that you uh, are able to proportionately distribute I mean to allocate your investments make sure that you use basic risk principle risk management principles like stop-loss to secure your uh, portfolio to secure your trades in case of the severely uh, falling market make sure that you have a take profit if you want to achieve concrete investment change results so let's say you want your investment change to be uh, to reach one percent so if I would switch my uh, if I would use take profit here, this one, and if I would set 1%, and let's assume that I had had this set up for my BTT trading to USDT, so as it reached 1%, it would have closed my bot already. But I don't have my take profit here at BTT, so it has moved even higher. It's now 1.05%. But if I had my take profit on in BTT in this uh, active bot, the bot would already close it automatically and fix, I mean, it would lock in the profit. And yeah, final step is to monitor the activity of your trading bot. It doesn't mean that you have to stay 24-7. In front of your computer no you should spend well from my mm, experience I take no more than 40 minutes per week so approximately I check my trading bots activity four times a week and if I need to make some adjustments it takes like five minutes something like that and yeah, I don't take into account the uh, market analysis here, but if we take the market analysis here, yes, it would be a bigger amount of time spent. But in general, to initiate the bots, to monitor them, you don't have to spend much time. You only have to spend very, very limited amount of time. Mm, because fully everything is fully automated and there is no need to constantly monitor the market. The bot, bots, they simply follow the rules. And yeah, you have all of the features to achieve maximized returns. So here's the um, composition. What are our bots are composed of? You see that 
grid amount varies from 10 to 108 levels but in case of scalper it's 200 automatically grid spacing here in scalper it's minimum yeah it's actually 0.1 percent so soon the asbot will be united with the scalper so that means that we will have 0.01 percent and we will be able to adjust our training range in any way we want so key differences they are here right below investment restrictions they vary and investment distribution they also vary so the way these bots distribute your investment um, is different and I've shown you example with the S bot where we had uh, the lower price the more amount to buy like here um, as let's use this one as bot view open orders so as I said if you multiply 670 by that price you will get the same investment allocation amount as if you would multiply 600 sorry 673 coins by that price but in case of the classic bot and the scalper they have a different approach so here we go the classic bot open orders notice that we have this same amount regardless of the price regardless of how much I mean if you multiply that amount of by that price you will get in this case it's gonna be yeah you will get a lower investment allocation than comparing with this one same applies to here you see different price but the same amount allocation so here in this case equal distribution is only in terms of the amount whereas if you whereas the investment allocation is different and in asbot we have proportionate investment allocation in a way that you have equal investment buyouts from the market so yeah mainly technical differences here are some of the examples of in this case the asbot with training up function on added value six percent total investment change fourteen percent yeah just some examples here we go here we go yeah as I said the idea that we follow at BitsGap is to automate and to uh, allow you to maximize your returns so we are constantly developing and looking for optimal strategies optimal technical uh, solutions and settings for the board to let you grab as many market swings as possible and in and, and to profit on it also we have these hedging things like which allow you on the falling market to offset the negative value change so everything is implemented and it's here for you you can use it and with demo trading mode you can use and you can uh, test all of the features that we have all of the things that I've just mentioned absolutely risk-free Secure trading, yes, in Asbot we have this optimization. So here's the thing. On the left side is the uh, is the chart of GRS training to Ethereum without optimization, without um, without as I call it, yeah, secure trading. So here, uh, without this optimization. You see the pump here and uh, in this case the board the one with without the optimization it would have quite a lot of buy limit orders executed at the very highest price and you can see here a consequent drop down and in this case the crypto that you bought here in this case GRS it would significantly depreciate but with the optimization that we have at BeatsGap, we allow our bots to avoid such extreme pump, pump 
and dump scenarios on the market. So in this case, you would have a smooth return. You wouldn't be affected by this unfortunate and yeah, you wouldn't get exposed to this market volatility here. You wouldn't get stuck with your buy limit orders at the very highest price. In, in this case, you wouldn't get affected as here by the negative value change as then the price again moved downwards. Here with optimization, we simply, uh, um, basically we send the bot signal to avoid such pumps and dumps when it spots it. We have some internal algorithms to spot these pump and dump scenarios on the market to avoid them. So with, with this feature, we secure your profits. Yeah, regarding the scalper bot, you will be able, as soon as we unite the S bot with the scalper, you will be able to launch it on stable coins. So that's what I call stable strategy. So that means that you will be able to profit on this arbitrage market. So you know that there are quite many stable coins like USDT, uh, TUSD, BUSD, all right, USDC, quite many. TUSD and yeah, USDT. So the idea of stable coins is to trade is to be equal to one dollar right but in reality it's not always the case and as the market is still quite immature and inefficient we have these uh, arbitrage opportunities when some stable coins they are trading lower or higher to other stable coins so that means we have an almost endless sideways market so that means we have an endless arbitrage opportunities. Well, until the moment then the crypto market, cryptocurrency market matures, but I guess it will happen only in maybe four years. So I bet that <laughs> we have four years in our pocket to profit on this passive strategy. So with the scalper setup, which has grid spacing reduced to 0.01% we are able to we will be able actually we will be able to seize these tiny market swings and that means that we will be able to profit on it that's almost risk free uh, strategy so that's something that i would say one of the coolest things that we are about to offer you guys is to have this risk-free, almost risk-free, passive strategy. So as soon as we will launch it, I will initiate the bot and during the next webcast I will show you the results. As of now, uh, we've covered pretty much everything. So if you have any questions, let me answer. Yeah, there are some questions about the stop loss with the trading up function. So let's let's come back to the presentation. Exit. Yeah, it takes time. So remember I shown you that when it comes to trading up, the trading range is gonna follow the price. Same with the stop loss when we have the trailing up function on. It will also follow the price appreciation. So it's pretty much like the lower limit price following the price appreciation. So let's say we have stop loss and trailing up function on. So in this case, our stop loss would be here. Well, approximately. And as the price moves upwards and the trading range is following the price appreciation, the stop loss is also automatically following the trading range so it's gonna always stay where the lower limit is at that point so here you see that the lower limit price is right now over here 
so that means so that from that point this oh my god what is happening here so from that point where we had our stop loss initially it will follow the price appreciation together with the trading range and it will be right here so our risk management instrument is always with us it is following us and it will not allow the bot to 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 lose the profits that we've generated that's the idea So if you want to read more about the optimal strategies and if you want to learn more about what makes our bots different technically from each other then just simply go to the main Bitscap page and open the blog section where we have everything about automated trading. So we have some articles with use cases and we have technical articles to explain what makes our bots different from each other in terms of investment distribution we also have a knowledge base if you want to learn more about trading but yeah basically everything unique and uh, all of the main features that we have I've covered today and if you have some questions unanswered then please use our support button which should pop up here or you can ask the question in the telegram chat that we have or the third option is to ask the question during the next webinar as simple as that so either I or Erwin from Bitsgab will uh, answer your question. So we are here to provide you with these unique market opportunities, with th these unique instruments to seize uh, market momentum to generate maximized profits. Maybe I should show you some examples of my current trades. But these are mainly the trades that I initiated during the previous webinar just for the sake of the example. So I only have a few here that I've initiated based on my uh, market analysis. So that was, yeah, at that time it was Bit Bitcoin Cash trading to USDT. So in my case, I'm looking for the cases on the market when the price respects the support level so when I see that the price bounces off the support level either it's the horizontal support level or it's the line support level the sideway support level each time I see the price appreciate sorry each time I see the price respects the support level and it bounces off it and demonstrate some appreciation then I enter the trade and this allows me to generate profits but sometimes I'm also can be wrong and in this case when the market is falling and I was wrong about the prediction in any case the bot will offset the negative value change with the bot profit so those examples that you've so today these are my real trades all right so for instance here Zirica trading to USDT so I have spotted an upside momentum strong bullish momentum and I've decided to launch the scalper because I knew that Zilica is quite volatile and as it has um, a fractionate price so that's which is I mean it's below 0, 0.00 so that's very 
fraction at price that means with the scalper I am able to seize as many market swings as possible having this narrow setup and yeah maybe I will show you another example so yeah here we go that was Bitcoin Cash to USDT and I've launched it at that time so I've launched it right here because I saw a bounce of the support level so and I've noticed that it will most likely enter the sideways market so that's exactly what happened the price then again dropped down bounced off and it has reached the resistance level over here two times actually again downwards to the support respected this support level bounced off and again so that's why I'm still in this trade because it is still in the sideways market and it's still generating profits so yeah to to sum up look for the sideways market formations to earn during the stagnation and look for the upside momentum market right now uh, in my opinion it's not clear whether the price of Bitcoin will move upwards or downwards. It kind of stays in currently in the neutral zone. So I'd rather wait for some price action. Either it breaks the 10,000 or it breaks the 9,000. And in this case, uh, in, in this case, the, the market paradigm will change and depending on the future market conditions, we will see what are the optimal prices to enter the market so attend our next webinars to to generate trade ideas together because sometimes i'm i'm opening trades during the webcast and during the next week i show positive results sometimes negative results yeah just to show you how to learn so for you I would recommend to trade using the demo account before risking your real money because in demo account you have a risk-free simulator virtual money which you can trade to find your best uh, settings yeah maybe you are good at um, cryptocurrency trading to BTC pairs Maybe you are better at cryptocurrencies trading to stable coins, all right? Maybe you are good at scalper strategy or the asbot. So find out which strategy suits you the best. And I wish you all the best with that. And yeah, uh, check our YouTube, subscribe and see other webcasts that we had and some useful videos. Check the blog at BeatsGap to find out more about the automated trading. And yeah, thanks a lot for your attention. Thanks a lot for your time. I appreciate that. So see you next Thursday and share your ideas with other members of our community and leave your feedback, which allows us to to improve the quality of our content. As of now, I would, I would like to ask you to rate this webinar from the scale of one to 10. So I would be able